This is amazing. What if you can add Zapier actions to your custom GPTs? What if you can add events in your calendar, send emails from your email account and connect to 5,000 plus third party apps? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Zapier AA actions in your custom GPT. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos on my YouTube channel about artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. In this page, you got detailed instruction on how to do that. I'm going to take you through step by step. First step, copy this URL, go to your custom GPT you created and click the edit button. There you're going to click the configure button and if you come down, you can see add new action there. Click the add new action button. Then in the schema area, click the import from URL and paste that URL there. And you're gonna click import. This will import the schema required. And if you come to the bottom, you can see it has two functions, list available actions and run actions. Now after this, we are going to enter sapia.com in the policy and then we're going to update it. After you have done this, you can go back to the previous page then you need to add in the instruction box here. At the bottom, you're gonna copy from the Zapier page. You will see the instructions here. You can copy this and going back to your previous page and pasting it here. And now you can save it. Now we are going to test this. First, make sure you're logged into zapier.com and then go into actions.zapier.com slash gpt slash actions. And you can add actions here. Now I have added two actions. One is to find email. Another one is to send email. You can add as many actions as you want. You have 5,000 plus application to integrate to. So if you want to integrate to Gmail, you can type Gmail and choose the action you want to do. If you're sending an email, send an email, then choose the account. Then two field have AI guess a value for this field. I'm going to choose that same for the subject and the body type and the body. You can tick this box if you want to confirm before sending, but I'm going to untick and click done. Now we have two actions. One is find email and send email. Coming back to our custom GPT, we are going to enter refresh actions. This will automatically refresh the actions. Now you can see the list of actions, Gmail, send email, Gmail, find email. Now I'm going to type send an email to and say hello. Now it's asking us to allow access. I'm going to click allow access. Talk to actions.zapier.com. The email has been successfully sent. In my email, I can clearly see I received a hi message. Hello, just wanted to say hi and see how you're doing. Best regards, zero minutes ago. It worked. Now I'm going to ask it to do, find the latest email from Apple. I'm allowing the access. I got a response. The latest email from Apple is in your inbox title. The Apple store shopping event is just around the corner. Sent 17th November, 2023 at 8.35 a.m. GMT. To confirm that, here is the email from Apple. The Apple Store shopping event is around the corner. Similarly, you can connect this with 5,000 plus application. That's amazing. I can't wait to see you integrate this with your custom GPT. One more thing to note is that it took a long time for me to figure this out. Sometime when you try for the first time, it might take some time, but this is just in the alpha version. So eventually it'll be better. That's it. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.